Hey guys, I'm the Disc Golf Teacher and we're here at Aspen Disc Golf Course in Omaha, Nebraska. And recently I made five videos where I took five different companies' discs and did a putter, mid-range, and driver challenge. All right? then I decided that the Luna, the Iron Samurai, the MD3, and the Destroyer went the furthest of all three, or all five of those different companies. These were the three discs that went the furthest. So today we're gonna play nine holes using just these three discs. Okay, it's pretty windy here. It's about 15 to 20 miles an hour. Um, so don't judge me on some of my shot shapes that I do with uh, with these discs. That's all I got, all right? Also, let me know in the comments below. Would you be more infuriated to have a sign on the tee pad or to have a sign right behind the tee pad? We have both. All right, starting off on hole one, it's a 267 foot par three, kind of right in front of you, but you gotta hit this late gap right before the basket. All right, I threw the MD3 on this one and landed about, oh, 15 feet away or so. And so normally I don't putt with Lunas, they're not my putting putter and definitely not the big Z. So I took my time, made sure I made this putt to get one under through one hole. All right, moving on to hole two, a 317 foot par three. Again, remember it's pretty windy today. And so I threw this destroyer, I think it's gonna get beat down a little bit, but it did fade out on me quite a bit to the left, more than I was expecting. And so I'm left with a little bit of a circle two putt here behind this tree. So I'm gonna have to settle for the par on hole two. Still down one through two holes though, so not bad, I'll take it in this crazy wind. Hole three is a 402 foot par three, really far par three. This has only been twoed by me a couple times. Again, there's um, a few gaps you can hit off the tee, but it uh, doesn't leave you too much. I got down here quite a ways. And again, circle two putts, just missed it a little bit long. So again, I'm gonna have to settle for a two, but in this crazy wind, I think I'll take that, especially shooting with only three discs. So one down through three. Let's move on to hole number four, which is a 366 foot par three. Again, um, you gotta hit this kind of late gap, and I did not do it. We got a right to a left crosswind, and I hit that tree on the left side because my disc got pushed that way. So I'm gonna have to lay up just with my um, MD3. You can see I pinned it there. I didn't even uh, waste my time with that putt. All right, moving on to hole five, um, a little over 300 feet here. Uh, again, you got a, kind of a late gap. It's sort of a theme you can see, um, but the uh, gap's a little more forgiving than those other holes. So I ended up about 10 feet away and put the Luna through to get two under. Another birdie there for the round. Moving on to hole six, a 247 foot par three. Again, look at these signs, guys. Who did this and why? Comment below if you have seen anything like that before, crazy. All right, I'm gonna go, this is the shortest hole on the on the course, so I'm gonna go with the putter here with a little turnover. Um, again, the, the tee pad's kind of set up to go through that right gap, but it's pretty crowded in there. So I think the turnover is the play. I got this little bounce off that last tree, um, but it may be pretty close there to go three down through six. Hole seven is the longest hole in Omaha, Nebraska at 630 feet. Not too far though, um, pretty easy par four as long as you can get a nice drive out there. I got this one out almost to 400 feet. Uh, again, the wind, the tailwind kind of um, killed my distance a little bit. And then I don't know what I was doing on this upshot. I think I was trying to compensate for the wind again and threw it right into that tree and it dropped down um, just inside circle one. But this tree is literally right in front of me because you have to step out one more step there just to see the basket. And I give it my best effort, but I come up just a little bit short. So we're gonna take a four on this par four. It's still down three through seven. A little upset with myself on that one. All right, hole eight is 458 feet. Again, quite a pump. This is going back the other direction into the headwind. And so I don't really have a shot to get there. I'm probably just gonna play for par in these last couple holes, especially using three discs that you know, I don't have my full bag available to me. Um, again, not the best decision here. I tried to jump putt this. The wind got it and it sailed a little bit to the right and hit this tree. And then this is a bit of a tester. So I bumped up to a mid range to putt here. Again, not my normal play at all. And it just snuck in on that left side. The chains caught it. And you can tell I'm real happy here. Whew, kind of tough. All right, 407 feet for hole nine, last hole on the course. I went with the turnover play again, we got the headwind, so it turns the destroyer just a little bit, but still a very stable disc, so it's stabled out on me to the left. All right, I kind of got stuck behind these trees here. I'm gonna have to hyzer around this tree again, right in my way, um, but I got some decent ground play. I rolled toward the basket and should be close enough to tap in 
for a par to stay three under here at Aspen Disc Golf Course. All right, guys, three under with just a Luna, an MD3, and a Destroyer. Not too bad. Let me know in the comments below if you could do better than that. While you're down there, go ahead and hit the like button for me if you thought this was helpful. Then YouTube says you're going to like this video next. So go ahead and click on that. And until next time, we'll see you out there on the course.